Hello there everyone, this is Nekonite here, getting ready to play Satisfactory. So we're getting ready, we're getting pre 1.0 set up. I don't want to get super built, super going. I don't remember which uh, things are going to be moved and which ones will be got rid of for nodes. So that's why we're doing this. We're not, it's not 1.0 just yet, but we're getting ready for it. And there's a lot of things I'm excited for. Last episode was just basically me running around getting everything set up and talking about all the game. There's quite a few achievements or uh, not achievements, but quite a few items I would like to see uh, and I'm excited for. For now, we're just going to continue on. We're going to get a little bit of base building set up, a little bit of obstacle clearing going. I actually should do the base building. And this time, I'm probably gonna basic, uh, what do you call it? I'm basically gonna try and build on all pure nodes. Biofuel will ensure maximum efficiency of biomass burners. To aid in biofuel production, you are now capable of removing foliage that consists primarily of wood. Additionally, R&D inflated your pocket dimension. Woo! Yeah, we're gonna have to get this automated. I definitely can't wait for the automated biofuel generators. Although, by the time we get, uh, I get everything set up, we'll probably be out of biofuel and into some of the other, like coal uh, generators and a few other things. Now, there's some nodes I may not be able to do, but we'll have to worry about that at a later time. Uh, production. We're gonna need equipment and a few other things. We're gonna get ready for the next milestone, which would be base building. Can I really? Really? Milestone reached. You have unlocked several structures aimed to provide the first needed to build basic factory infrastructure and improved overview. Building these will provide a grid for more advanced organizing and sectioning of your factory. Already unlocked. Can I really buy just bypass by doing this? Nope. Okay, so if you have all... Uh, so that's nice to know. Whether or not they're going to fix that, that's a different question. But apparently if you preload uh, all your things, you can just fire them all off at once and unlock them. So we're going to try and get ourselves set up so that we can... St this episode is to try and get everything set up for the space elevator. And then the second, the third episode is going to be getting the space elevator built. And then the fourth episode will be the 1.0. Also, if you guys enjoy my content, although most likely most of you have already scattered, please uh, subscribe. And if you want to see more, you can always check out my channel for other games and this uh, series. And if you want to be... Uh, well, actually, yeah, that's basically the majority of it. Anyways, we're going to get a few of this, uh, a little bit of reorganizing going. So we're going to pick you up. And we're going to pick most of the... Well, actually, I don't know if I want to pick most of this up. Because it means we're going to have to reset. And that we also need to start getting foundations built. Which means we're going to need concrete and plates. Which actually we do have a decent amount. Because we got con plates there and concrete up there. And um, I'm not sure how I'm going to be rebuilding or be building my setup just yet. I'm thinking maybe have the central area here with uh, little hallways and pathways from the ores. So it's like we're going to have one major area for all the basic stuff here that all goes to one factory and that goes up a couple of levels. And then maybe spread out uh, to other nodes like the quartz over there. Assuming those are pure. Also, we got to be careful falling down. And I got to build a bridge or build a pathway that leads down to those things. 
we're going to save those for the 1.0. That way we can actually see some of the things and see some of the changes they've made along the way. As you can see, this is pure. I'm definitely excited. Definitely can't wait to see what they have in store and to get a bunch of the other machines going. And uh, definitely got to start preparing to rebuild or reset up the place, which means we're going to be popping a lot of this and we're going to have to get a few personal chests plopped down. In fact, I may need to just make one of these and get things ready. Admittedly, I don't know the whole point of this other than, I guess, just looking around. All right, uh, right. Was it control? Yes, control. Okay. Control moves all of that. We're going to want to get a few other items going. And I'm going to be saving research until later. Production. Or actually foundations. We're going to just... Some other things that I learned is that you can change the color of your building things like this. So if we want, we can have this be like pink, blue, green, orange, or a few other things. And that's going to be uh, real nice. If this is set like that, I believe if I do that... I should be able to... Oops. Oh, where... Why the hell did you... You can also change the color of this, which actually is kind of neat. We're definitely going to be moving this all up a level. I'm actually hoping that this will be... All right. I'm hoping this will actually still be able to connect. Sweet. We gotta make sure this is lined up. Uh, part of the thing is another reason why I don't want to start getting too big is because uh, they've got the new little setups for certain things, and that's going to be, like, amazing. And I definitely can't wait for it. Alright. We're going to be getting ourselves set up and ready for, uh... A few, we're going to get the basic materials going, which means we're going to need the splitter and a few other items. Logistics, merger, splitter. Actually, we should probably pop this. That way I don't have any interference. Now that it's going to be real nice when they fix this. Especially when you can see that the green line is kind of like not always there. The other, there's a few other things like the ability to just like point at the entrance of this and point at the exit of this and the belts will automatically align like uh, an, in a very neat way. And then the other thing is going to be is going to be when we start building uh, belts, like how I want to have belts go straight in 90 degrees. I can have it do that for me. So that way it goes here and then it will automatically turn it to 90 like this and then slap it into the machine or it'll come out here and it will put it at 90 because right now I got to um, manually put it 
so that it does 90 degrees. Alright, we're going to need three smelters. Alright, I don't have my jetpack yet. So production, smelter. Alright, I forgot. We got a uh, trampoline here and we've got a few other of the buddies that we have to deal with uh, starting to... Alright, we're gonna throw iron, we're gonna throw iron into here, throw iron into here, so that gets that dealt with. And we're gonna want to get some bars. Yeah, a few more bars, we're gonna have to give some copper and a few other things going. Woo! We're also going to need to get constructors and we're going to need to start getting some plates going and there's all kinds of crud we got to get ready for. And we're also going to have to deal with uh, efficiency. Okay, so that takes care of that one. It's weird not having my, uh, whatever you call it, my boots, and, uh, have it struggling. Yeah, that's the other thing, is this auto snaps if you're too close, which means sometimes you have to, uh, do stuff like this in order to make it work, and... Yeah, th that's going to be helpful as hell when they fix that. So I think we're going to need to place one right there. Right there. Okay. Uh, I'm surprised that doesn't line up there. All right, well, anyways, well, that takes care of that. So now we have the smelters here, which we can now put iron. We can throw that in there, throw that in there. So that takes care of that. Now we're going to have to expand a little bit more. I do like the zoop or whatever the hell you call it. Uh, what was it? Q? No, not Q. Um, what was it? Quick switch in sample no not right click um r yes you got zoop zoop is actually helpful as hell the problem is is i don't know how wide i'm gonna need to make this when I get the rest of the constructor set up which actually I should have probably built those first I do know we're gonna have one constructor here so that means I'm gonna end up deleting those and replanting those uh, the sides Come on, there we go. Yeah, we're gonna need to, we're gonna need two, four, four more of these. Which means we're gonna need to move these out of the way. And then we'll have to get a few other Ooh, I forgot their sliders. Woo! Which actually makes getting over certain things easier. Alright. First off, let's go get that. Uh, we need to make four of these. That's one, two, three. Kind of wish there was some upgrades, like from the MAM, that could allow us to handcraft things faster. But whether or not they actually do that is a different story. Okay, so we need to remove you.
that will take care of that one. And the reason why I'm actually putting a little bit of a gap from these is because when it comes to upgrading, uh, they, it used to be a pain. Like, you had to actually, uh, what do you call it? You actually had to deal with uh, figuring out how to reach the belt. And if you couldn't reach it, you couldn't exactly upgrade it. And then, uh, that was so fun. And I didn't like dealing with that. That was for sure. Alright, so that takes care of that and that. So now we should be able to... Like right here, right there. I gotta make sure to set this in the right spot. Hopefully they, uh, I'm, I'm curious what else uh, they're gonna be improving as time goes on. Definitely can't wait to see. All right. So we're going to have this one go from rods to, uh, what do you call it? All right, we need to... I am definitely going to have to work on efficiency, but first off, to make screws, we need these. So we're going to need to make that first. And then this one is going to be rods. And this one is going to be plates. And then that this one will have screws in front of that. And then we can take from here and here to make the plates. Because we definitely need to automate those. So we need two more. Because then we're going to have to make more of these. And that's definitely going to be a pain. Alright, another constructor. All right, so that should take care of that, which means we can now take screws. Screws go there. Rods go in there. That goes in there to make uh, plates. Oh, to make plates, we're going to need... Uh, what do you call it? Part assembly, because so we're going to need multiple pieces which we don't have to worry about those but uh the second things uh all right so for now we're gonna need to fix our power grid and we're gonna need to fix our power lines And we're going to need to set that up to on foundations. I'm not sure how many foundations we're going to need. But I definitely know we're going to need at least a few. And that means we're going to have to delete that and hope we have enough room. All right. Special, the hub. Uh, we're going to want to have space because on the back for the power grid. So I think right there should be good. Yes, perfect. Now we can hook up some power here, which means... Uh, We can probably just slap onto the corner here. Mm. I, I hate when, uh, because now we won't be able to, well, we could s soft, uh, whatever, uh, soft collision them, which actually wouldn't be, would be fine. So we're going to need... Let's see, we're going to hook you up to here, you up to here, you to here, you to there. So we're going to need one, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven. And these can only do two. So we need uh so that's two, four. Six, eight, ten. Okay, so that should take care of all that. Well, actually, we need another one to go over to the grid over here. So, middle mouse. Wee! I forgot. Gotta be careful with that. And then we've got all of our crud going on back over here. If I unlock some of the, uh, what do you call it, the uh, corners, I could actually take this and turn it like that and then attach it to the uh, corners, all the, uh, the corner foundations. The problem is, is that it's not going to, whatever you call it, 100% uh, line up unless I zigzag it. So it might be better just to just set up a straight line. All right. get that right there and then we're gonna slap this all the way back over here which uh, we're already getting the factory pre-set up and pre-ready Woo! Uh, that is Technically a safety hazard. <laughs> uh, might need to adjust that so that it isn't a safety hazard or as big of a safety hazard. Gotta care about safety. Dang it. Kind of wish this wasn't in where it was. Hmm. I guess we could. No, that's not going to be good. Uh, the best I can do is angle it like this. Have it come around the back like this. Again, I, this is more of a building and showing off uh, game. So, and uh, setting up things for efficiency and making things look nice. So it just comes down to uh, how you want to play the game. But you can still learn tips, tricks, helpful hints, and a bunch of other fun tidbits along the way. Alright, we're going to need to set up some... power generators which um, I guess we can slap down a couple here logistics oh yeah the conveyor foundations power I definitely am gonna have to be resetting these up a little bit for the future because they're gonna have a the ability to be fed and uh, yeah although I don't know if I'm gonna be in this for a long period of time but Uh, if I am, then oh well. Ah, oh, oh wait, we're missing out parts. Okay. I can fit one, that can fit one, so... And then the next one we would slap down there would be in there, so... We need to get power into these... 
which means I want to get biofuel going. Uh, solid biofuel. You go in there. You go there. You go in there. Uh, I forgot. I definitely can't wait to get more upgraded versions of these. That way I can actually fit more than one of the items. Alright. Got plates in there. We've got rods in here. We've got rods in here. And we've got screws in here. So that takes care of all the basics. Admittedly, I probably... I kind of wish these arms were slightly narrow in other words they stopped right here instead on this structure because now with this it's kind of clipping through even though it doesn't really matter uh, i kind of would like to see them uh, adjust the size of these arms to s stop like right here or adjust the hitbox to account for the arms the width of the arms but we'll worry about that some other time. Iron. 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 Sweet. So now we've got iron going. We got biofuel going. We got power going. We got a few other things going. We are definitely going to want to get uh, copper setups. And copper moved out of the way. Which means we're going to have to tear apart a lot of this. And we may end up having to go up some steps. And I may have to rebuild some of my structure here so that it isn't uh, floating. Okay, it's not floating, but we will have to put some stairs that way. And we definitely need to go up at a ramp this way. Because I don't want to have to... I want to get this up to a point where it's actually level. Which means we might have to go with a... Oops. A four? I think a four might be too much. Nope. Okay, four wasn't too much. Although, kind of wish these nodes were perfect where they um, stood within a, like a grid type setup. But you can't always get what you want. Woo! Uh, there we go. Alright, we should have enough to get this going. That should be straight. We should be able to uh, slap down three smelters, and then we're gonna want to have two well, two uh, construction. We're gonna uh, what's what do we need for right now? We need wire and cable. So yeah, so we need just two of these for now so we're gonna put down a uh, where is it logistics a splitter we'll slap one right there then we'll slap down uh, production we'll slap down a smelter
and then we're going to want to get these. And then we're going to want to get these. Woo! No point in putting that there, but hey. Alright. So, the way this is going to go is we're going to have... Smelters there. Constructor, constructions here. Constructors here. We're going to want to have enough room to move. So, I think... These things are stupidly huge. All right. So we're going to put another smelter on this side. Oh, we're missing a rod. Oh, it's amazing how fast time goes. Like, I didn't even realize 30 minutes is just zoomed by. It only feels like it just started, like, a minute ago for me. Uh, we're gonna need a bunch of these. And we're probably gonna need a few other things. I'm also going to probably set up some foundations that go that way, up and around there, and get that all set up. And we're going to have to rebuild this. Mm. I may have to move those forward and yeah I'm gonna move those forward and we're just gonna uh, extend this out even if it's slightly overhanging we can just say hey that's that because I want to make sure that the stuff is on the ground not uh, what do you call it I want to. Uh, I want to make sure it's on the foundations, not the ground. So now we need to get one right there. Perfect. We should be able to get one of these. I thought that was uh, lined up with this. Guess not. Love it when things don't c go lined up. All right, now we should be good. There we go. Oops, nope. Perfect. That should take care of at least that stuff. Nope. I hate this when it doesn't line up properly. That's the other thing I hope they improve on is setting it up so that these actually line up properly yeah you can see right here even though it's uh line says it's lined up it's going no no it's not
How do I nudge it? No. There, there's a nudge option that you can use to nudge these, but... Oh, well. For now, we'll just... Deal with... That. Even though it's not, like... It's you. All right, let's just get the uh, smelters. Uh, one should be right there. One should be right there. Logistics, splitter. That should go in there. That won't go in there. Dang it. Yeah. I should have just left it alone at the way I had it. Once we get this uh, copper set up, we'll probably call it an end of an episode because uh, I I need to get ready for work tomorrow and all that other fun cred. Woo! Which means going to bed and everything else. Yay! I love working 4.30 in the morning. It's so amazing. That it makes me cry and wish that, that it never existed. Anyways, let's just hurry up and get this set up so I can then get everything ready for parts assembly. And then hopefully by then we can get everything ready for, uh, what do you call it? Uh, smelter. What was that I was trying to build? Oh, belt. I need plates. And I'm also going to need a few other items. I'm definitely going to be excited for researching. So let's hurry up and get these two set things set up and then be ready to go. Which means we're going to need to... That goes there. there this is gonna have to come over to here and then over and then Okay, so it's going to have to come over here, and then... So we need to remove you, and you. Copy you. I think... That should be... Hmm. Nope, we need to have that. So yeah, we got to get rid of that and that.
All right. We can do this, though, and have it come over to here. And to make it zigzag in. Alright, I don't know if that's 100% 90, but uh, good enough. Alright, we're going to call it here. If you guys enjoyed listening to me and enjoyed watching me do the build process, please like. If you didn't, I understand. Not much happened, just getting everything ready for uh, 1.0. Woo! And if you guys want to see more of this series, make sure to check out my channel. If you guys want to be added on to the in-screen credits like these people, make sure to publicly subscribe. And if you want to see other games and or see this game, you can always check out my channel. Admittedly, I think I just said that, but hey, can't say it enough. Anyways, I'm going to get ready for the next episode, so... uh. Bye-bye.